One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, here for video number two for you filthy animals today. And today, what we are going to be doing is another top five list, ladies and gentlemen. And what we're going to be talking about is the Jaguars' playoff chances and how likely it is that the Jacksonville Jaguars will reach the postseason again like they did in 2017. Now, there are going to be two videos to this, so if you are a pessimist Jaguar fan and you think the Jags aren't going to be making the playoffs, don't worry, I'm going to be making a video about why the Jags won't make the playoffs as well. So you can watch that one and you can continue to be angry as well. And the whole Telvin Smith situation kind of made it a lot harder to make this list, but... The list is still here, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, here are five reasons why the Jaguars will be making the postseason in 2019. Number five, the defense, still elite. The defense is still elite for the Jacksonville Jaguars. It is still a top 10 unit. There's no reason why it should slow down in 2019, with the exception now that Telvin Smith will not be a part of the team. But the Jags do have some linebackers that could step in and play uh, in his absence. A guy that I really want to keep my eye on because if he ends up working and if he ends up panning out and getting some playing time, Quincy Williams. That would be very, very interesting if he came in in relief of Telvin Smith for the 2019 season. He came in and he balled out. And I think he has the potential to do it. He would fit in well with this defense with a bunch of hard hitters, trash talkers. It seems like that is a big part of Quincy Williams' game. And you also got this front four that it just got better it just got better with the addition of Josh Allen you still got Calais Campbell Yannick Ngakwe who we still need to pay Avery Jones Marcel Darius Taven Bryan this is the best defensive line in the NFL from the starting four to the depth as well you got Taven Bryan coming off the bench at defensive tackle former first round pick that can make an impact you got Josh Allen coming off the bench as well and he will be making quite the impact as well but in my ideal scenario I'd like to move Clay is Campbell down so we have Darius Campbell Yan and Allen and that starting front four will just be way too much cheese ladies and gentlemen but I still think this defense is elite I still think this defense is top 10 and it still has the potential to carry us to the promised land number four new quarterback there is a new quarterback in Jacksonville by the name of Big Dick Nick, and I think his last name is Foles. I honestly thought his last name was Nick, and his first name was Big, and his middle name was Dick. That's Treve's attempt at comedy, ladies and gentlemen. I will be here literally six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. You're going to have to stick around for the comedy if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen. But Nick Foles is a good change of pace from Blake Bortles, a natural thrower of the football, something we didn't have for the last four to five years you just had Blake Bortles' awkward throwing motion and you would say to yourself why do I like this guy so much he is so bad he's only holding us back and that was the case everybody in the Jags organization or not the Jags organization but the Jags fan base always says that we are just one quarterback away give us a quarterback and we will do work ladies and gentlemen and that's what the Jags got in Nick Foles, whether you like it or you don't. You know, you got to come around to the idea that Nick Foles is a Super Bowl MVP. He performs really well when it matters in the playoffs. And I think if he has that same mentality that he has when he came in for the Eagles in the postseason and he plays lights out and, you know, even like towards the latter part of the regular season, you know, the Eagles were on the playoff bubble, but he managed to get them in to the postseason so that was a good move by Nick Foles and you know he's a guy that is going to bring a lot of excitement to Jacksonville a lot of big plays and maybe we could finally get some offensive football that we've been desperately clamoring for ever since we drafted Blake Bortles the Jags offense has just been boring to watch it's been way more fun watching this defense play than the offense and this time around maybe both of them could be equally as exciting with Nick Foles at the helm playing the quarterback position and hopefully get these wide receivers involved and they can ball out as well for great things to come with a new quarterback and with Nick Foles and hopefully he can make these wide receivers ball out. Number three, Leonard Fournette's bounce back story. We all know the case with Leonard Fournette. He's kind of a 
guy that gets into a lot of trouble, the unpaid speeding ticket. He gets injured quite a bit. He sits on the fucking sidelines with his arms crossed last year. He seems like a problem, but if you follow him on Instagram or Twitter, you see the work that Leonard Fournette's putting in. He truly wants this season to be special and to be different. If he reaches the 2017 form, he is going to be a great part of this offense. And plus, they will not be loading the box as much as they did in prior years with Leonard Fournette because now we have a quarterback that can sling the ball. So some more breakaway runs and some more uh, big-time runs for Leonard Fournette is definitely in his future. I think this guy can definitely reach 1,000 yards. And I know a lot of you are going to be staying away from him in your fantasy football league, but you definitely should not be doing it because this is the year Leonard Fournette bounces back and he's going to be a big part of this Jaguar offense a huge part, probably the main vocal point of this Jags offense. And he's going to have a great bounce back story this year. Hopefully he stays healthy all the way throughout the season because he is going to be fun to watch because this is a man on a mission. Number two, the draft has instant impact players. You got guys like J1 Taylor who is selected in the second round who is going to probably be slotted in at the starting right tackle position. He will have to battle it out with two other guys, but he could come in, make an instant impact, and help out this Jaguar offensive line. You also got... Um, Josh Allen, who is going to help the depth of this defensive line and help this defensive line as a whole. This guy is a raw talent. He's a dog. He's going to get after it, and he is going to be playing very, very well, and he's going to have an instant impact with this Jaguar defense. Every time he comes onto the field, he's going to be fresh if he's not a starter uh, in week one if the Jags don't adjust the defensive line to bring Calais Campbell down to a three technique. He's going to be fresh every time he comes in on passing downs, get to the quarterback, and get some big sacks. He's also going to be an instant impact player. Another guy who's going to be an instant impact player is Quincy Williams. Quincy Williams, who was not on anybody's big boards in the NFL draft. He has an opportunity now with Tovin Smith going. He has the opportunity to come in and produce and be another instant impact player ladies and gentlemen i'm very excited to see quincy williams and see what he is gonna do i think he's gonna be able to fight for that starting job now that Tobin smith again is not going to be playing this year so that's three guys the jags drafted this season that are going to be making an instant impact and just making this team better overall and that is another reason why the jags can reach the postseason in 2019 and number one, we're coming into the 2019 season completely underestimated. That's when the Jags perform at their absolute best, when they are underestimated. 2017, not a single primetime game. The Steelers were looking forward to playing the Patriots in the AFC Championship game. You know, the stories keep flooding and flooding in from the 2017 season. We weren't supposed to be there. This wasn't supposed to be our opportunity. But what did we do? We went to the playoffs. We took the opportunity, made it all the way to the AFC Championship game with Blake Bortles. Now that you factor in all the good things that the Jags have with Leonard's bounce back, season a whole new quarterback and guys from the draft that are going to be making an instant impact this is going to be a better squad than the 2017 squad I think that they have the talent there that they could be even better the only setback is the Jags do have a very tough schedule in 2019 so they are gonna have to go out there and win the games they are supposed to win because everybody is counting us out in 2019 like they always do year in and year out and why why wouldn't they I mean we went 5 and 11 last year the Jags do their best when they are completely under the radar and in 2019 they are under the radar because guys are forgetting what they did in 2017 and the fact that Blake Bortles was just terrible overall for the team or the fact that there was a lot of injuries no one talks about this everybody's just assuming we're going to be going back to our old Jaguar ways but that is not the case ladies and gentlemen this Jags team is going to be able to go out there perform do well shock a lot of people and show why they're going to be making the postseason in 2019 and that was five reasons why the jags will make the postseason in 2019 what you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget you can check links down below as well you can like me on facebook at troop talks follow me on twitter at troop talks follow me on instagram at trey von pixley also if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button click the bell icon to so get notified every single time i drop a new video i drop new content on this channel six days a week ain't nobody outworking me them just straight facts. And you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.